This is close to the perfect day off for Chiefs prop Aiden Ross. A game of fetch with Dog Honey back home at Mount Manganui is a welcome relief from the vigours of Super Rugby in Hamilton. The odd day off in the week I'll, I'll come back over to um, hang out with the missus and the dog and get down to the beach. I'm pretty biased but I say it's the best, best part of the world. The missus is Blackfern star Michaela Blyde. Oh, it's a change of direction and now the pace. When she's not travelling the world, Ross visits her at her base in the Mount. Despite growing up by the Bay of Plenty's beach paradise, Ross isn't a surfer and wasn't keen on the Mount's other iconic pastime. Come summertime, um, these beaches here are just packed with beach volleyball. They've got plenty of competitions going on here, so didn't want that one bit, eh? Um, not really my cup of tea, so stayed away from it. When it came to sport, Ross preferred terra firma to the sand between his toes. And to chase his footy dreams in the Bay of Plenty, he had to leave the volleyball obsessed Otomotai College. Yeah, jump shipped over to Tauranga Boys, where had a couple of good seasons here at the footy and got a real taste of, I guess, that next level. Super 8's obviously a pretty big comp. The strong teams like Hamilton and Rotorua each week, it's a, it's a good level of footy to be playing. The decision helped launch his career. The loose head prop led Bay of Plenty to promotion in the Mighty 10 Cup Premiership. He's now in his fourth season as a Chief. But like too many Chiefs front rowers in recent years, he's had to overcome serious injury. His own player fell on him. I wouldn't call it a curse, probably just saying it's pretty unlucky and, you know, through injuries as well, you just got to take the opportunity. Players like Angus Tavau and Carl Tuinukuafe did that to go from Chiefs injury replacements to All Blacks. Ross would like a similar rise, and all the game time he's getting should help. There's nothing better than um, coming off the field after a, like a 70 or 80 minute performance and knowing that you've just given everything and you can enjoy a, a beer in the change rooms with your mate and knowing that you've, you've worked hard that evening. The 24 year old has also loved learning off a head coach with the stature of Warren Gatland. Pretty handy having Gats there, knows his way around the scrum too. I think the main thing. I take away from him is he's pretty honest. You know, it's sometimes the things you don't want to hear are the best learnings you get. The door's always open if you need a chat there. That helped after the Chiefs hit the ground with a thud at home against the Brumbies in round four. Easy as you like. When you're winning each week, you can easily fill over the, the gaps, so uh, a loss keeps you accountable. A good side really shows how they bounce back from a loss, and we were managed to do that in the weekend. So it left Aidan Ross in a good place to enjoy some of life's simple pleasures back home. With a poop bag down the beach, scooping it up and then um, running, running a muck with her. There's just nothing like home.